power grids under attack, cyber attacks. What is really happening? I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you where you are. Welcome back to Tommy Bikes Homestead. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to do an update on the attack that took place on the power grid in North Carolina, which I am located in North Carolina, but not in that area so state of emergency is still in effect in moore county for the intentional attack on two power stations they are keeping the curfew in place it was to expire today but due to the spike in crime high burglary break-ins uh, robberies they decided they would continue as long as the power is out to keep the curfew until 9 p.m. each night. Schools and businesses are still closed. Power is not expected to be back on until roughly Thursday. People are using generators if they have them. People are also helping one another out in the community. Um, a company called Limitless served free pancakes and coffee today to anybody who some food trucks in Southern Pines came out today to serve food to the community as well as the firefighters and policemen. So let's get into the story. You see the title before we get into it. Could you please give this video a thumbs up, share it out, subscribe to the channel if you have not, and welcome back to all of my new subscribers and returning subscribers. Cousins. Chinese hackers stole millions worth of U.S. COVID relief money, Secret Service says. So this is a report I got from Reuters, and as of December 5th, it says, Chinese hackers have stolen tens of millions of dollars worth of U.S. COVID relief benefits since 2020. The Secret Service declined to provide any additional details, but confirmed a report by NBC News that said that Chinese hacking team that is reportedly responsible is known within the security research community as APT41 or WIN, W-I-N-N-T-I. I really wish they would give certain groups names instead of all of this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, M, N, O, P stuff. Um, so APT41 is a prolific cyber criminal group that had conducted a mix of government backed cyber intrusions. Get that now. Government backed cyber intrusions and financially motivated data breaches, according to experts. Several members of the hacking group were indicted in 2019 and 2020 by the U.S. Justice Department for spying on over 100 companies, including software development companies, telecommunication providers, social media firms, and video game developers. So the former Deputy Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen said, Regrettably, the Chinese Communist Party has chosen a different path of making China safe for cyber criminals so long as they attack computers outside China and steal intellectual property helpful to China. Now, I just want to say all countries are doing this as far as spying on each other. That's nothing new, but to go in and take funds, that is serious, serious allegations and of course the chinese embassy in washington did not immediately respond to requests for comment so let me know what you guys think in the comments do you believe that this actually is happening i do believe that it did happen i believe that things like this will continue to happen as long as we are online doing so many different things um we get notifications all the time. Well, someone is trying to use your iWatch or sign in on your iWatch or your FaceTime or whatever. So just be careful out there. Try not to give your information out to too many 
different people. We're talking about an attack in North Carolina, not Ukraine. For a third night, tens of thousands living in Moore County, North Carolina, are without power after one or more attackers shot up a pair of electrical substations, disabling them over the weekend. Tonight, the area under a state of emergency. Officials warning affected residents the blackout could extend until Thursday. With overnight temperatures in the low 40s, some have taken refuge in a Red Cross shelter. While a motive hasn't been revealed, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper today saying this kind of attack raises a new level of threat. As the sun sets on Moore County, North Carolina, tonight, tens of thousands of residents are left in the dark for a third straight night. How did you guys stay warm? A lot of blankets. A lot of blankets. The work of at least one criminal vandal, officials say, who intentionally targeted the county's electrical system. What happened here Saturday night was a criminal attack. The FBI says it's investigating willful damage after officials say at least one gunman broke through gates accessing two Duke Energy substations and started shooting. Enough damage to knock out power to more than 45,000 customers, the majority of them still in the dark. This was not no random act. This was something targeted. The folks that done this knew exactly what they were doing. So, and that's scary. Tonight, the county is under a state of emergency with mandatory curfew at 9 p.m. Schools closed. One of the area's main hospitals forced to operate on a backup generator. Businesses, roads, and busy intersections all in the dark. How dangerous is the situation? <laughs> it's, it's very dangerous. We've had several accidents involved already due to power outages. We had some uh, shots fired. We had uh, robbery attempts. Duke Energy would not detail security measures around the substations, but says they do meet industry requirements. Are these energy stations secure enough? You know, we have robust security measures and requirements as an electric utility. Uh, we're regulated. We do look for opportunities of, of how we can improve that process, things that we can do, and we'll take learnings from this. As temperatures dip into the low 40s, for many, this grocery store, one of the few with power, is the only refuge. It's cold and... I come over here a couple of times a day to get some hot food. Just to get warm? Yeah. We have no heat. We have no uh, uh, cooking facilities. We have none of that. How are you getting by? Uh, barely. Well, Lester, so far they say there is no motive and no suspects, but they say they're not ruling anything out, including a possible connection to that drag show that took place over the weekend in the area, which was already facing protests. That is most definitely something we should be questioning. How safe is our power grid? And will they really change the way that they monitor it? Because right now, nobody's monitoring it. Of course, in North Carolina right now, they have overnight security due to this. But before that, no one was doing that. So will they start doing that now? And who pays for that? That's a good question too. So guys, be aware that we need to do the best we can to have backup power. Okay, look into those small power banks if you can't afford, you know, the gas generators or things like that. I have some links down in my description box if you want to check those links out feel free to do so but get what you need now before something like this happens to any of us i wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really put up a fight and now i'm losing sleep